Welcome to LifeFoodFilm.com. Today we're making mung bean soup. Bean soup is an excellent source of fiber and protein. These are the mung beans. They're very small and almost look like lentils. These are the ingredients you'll be needing for your mung bean soup. We have a head of baby bok choy, one green onion, a quarter of white onion, three cloves of garlic, some fresh ginger, of which we'll only be grating about a teaspoon, a quarter red bell pepper, and a quarter package of beech mushrooms, which are about one ounce's worth, Mediterranean sea salt, and mushroom seasoning. The mung beans, we're going to be using about one and a half cups of those, and you'll be needing two quarts of water for your soup. In preparing the soup, set the heat to a medium high and bring it to a full boil. The total cooking time is about 30 minutes. Initially, we just put the water and the beans in. Our mung beans have just reached a full boil and we've turned the heat down to a medium and offset the lid, as you can see. In prepping our vegetables, you'll julienne your bell pepper and then dice afterwards. And we're just about done with our bell peppers. And we'll be dicing our garlic today. Usually we use a press. Grating our ginger now. We're only going to make about a teaspoon or so. After you bring your beans to a rolling boil, you can turn your heat down just below medium. So we'll continue the boil, and, but a little less so. And that should be adjusting a bit. We just change the temperature. As you can see, we've sliced our baby bok and diced up our green onions. These ingredients will be put in the soup in the last three minutes of cooking. Your mung bean should be done about 20 minutes. You can tell by the green coloration of the water and the appearance of the beans. Now we're set up for a saute. The ginger, garlic, onion, bell pepper, and beech mushrooms. You'll need about a teaspoon of olive oil for that and the setting is about a medium heat. If the beans absorb too much of the water, you can always add another quart or half quart of liquid. And we've set our heat down to low while we're finishing up our saute. So we'll continue doing this until the onions have sweat and become translucent, and then add your bell peppers and mushrooms. You can see the onions have sweat and they're turning translucent. And now we're going to add our ingredients. To the beans. And mix that in there. We put our ingredients in. Well, now we're going to cook for another five minutes at a medium heat. Salt to taste. We put a half teaspoon in and we're also going to be adding some mushroom seasoning. This can also be substituted by using chicken bouillon if you prefer, though use less of it than you would expect because of the high sodium content. At this point, we'll add the vegetables we prepared earlier and cook for another five minutes. That's our bok choy and diced green onion. And now it's been 35 minutes and our soup is done. You can tell by looking at the beans which appears split open. Delicious mung bean soup. For questions, comments, or other recipes, please visit lifefoodfilm.com.